How did the band come about? Did everyone know each other from like school or something? Um, actually, yeah, three out of, besides John, we all went to the same Armenian school in Hollywood, but, um, and they knew of me because I was older, but I didn't really know them at the time. But um, it was mostly through rehearsal situations. Like um, I was in one band, um, we would rehearse in North Hollywood Burbank at various rehearsal studios and um, Darren joined another band of friends and we would share rehearsal space and him and I became friends and you know the serious guys continue everyone else just kind of dissipates over time so Darren and I were the first ones to actually start collaborating before system and we had a band called Soil before system and uh, we had another friend named Dave Hagopian who was our bassist and Domingo this uh, drummer incredible dr drummer from Hawaii and that lasted eight months and then System of a Down formed with Chavo, and then we had another drummer named Andy with, uh, with Chavo, and then John came, John's the latest one to join after. So was the band formed in 94? Uh, I would say 93, technically. 93. Yeah. And when I experienced System of a Down, must have been 97, 98, mm -hmm. like it didn't take very long to be really successful, and maybe... A lot of that was K-Rock spinning it, and then oh, yeah. once K-Rock spun it, it go all over the nation? It was. K-Rock had a huge part in it. Um, we released our first record in 98, our self-titled debut, and um, and it wasn't, you know, we had we didn't really have a lot of radio at that time. Uh, I remember Jed the Fish played, like, Sugar on the radio. That was the first time <laughs> I'd ever heard our, one of our songs on the radio at night. I was, like, stunned, like, you know, and... Uh, but at the time, it's very interesting. The this, this story is really interesting, and Kevin knows this. Kevin Weatherly at the program time. Program director. Program director at K-Rock. And when we first came out, he was like, the music was so different than mm -hmm. anything that was on the station, or any station for that matter. And he's like, this is really interesting, and it's great, but I don't know if I can ever play it on the radio. A year later, we were the biggest band <laughs> on K-Rock, which is interesting how times change, music's change, curation, tastes change. And... Um, it's when the L.A. music scene really kind of popped uh, on the commercial radio status. 